Hello, Paul, are you alive? Sorry, who is this? Paul, this is Michael, the host of Dark Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mike. Um, yeah, I'm alive. I just woke up. What's, what's going on? This is good to hear. I was worried they may have taken you in the night. But no, no, I'm here. Fantastic. Paul, I have some breaking news that has come through the wire, mainly the Dark Hollywood squirt line, about Mr. Mothman. You're talking faster than, than you normally do. I am very excited about this. Yeah. You have what? what you said you have a what? A call? I have a call, Paul. <laughs> yeah, run. Let me share this call with you, Paul. I think this will shed some light on the... Mis- Hold on. What do you... T- like, for what? Paul- for, for Mothman? We already... We recorded that episode two days ago. Yes. But I had a caller call in to the Dark Hollywood squirt line. And, ho oh, lo and behold, he has some info. And I felt, even though we had already broadcast this groundbreaking episode, that I would share yeah. this with you because you are my closest friend, my greatest confidant, my lover, my brother, well. and amongst other things, my mother. I didn't catch all that, but yeah, go ahead and play the call. I mean, I'm not, you know, you understand that I'm not in the cave anymore, right? Like we're done recording. (laughs) I'm just hanging out at home. Paul, a little peek behind the dark curtain of Hollywood. You have a home. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here we go. Hello. Hello again. This is your number one super fan, Einstein Rosen. I am calling in because I heard you were doing a little expose on my good friend, Howard Mossman. Now, Mr. Mossman, I call him Howie. Uh, We go way, way back. We went to uh, Brookline High School together, class of uh, of 49. Uh, We we played uh, blotchy together on the intramural team there and uh you know i hesitate sometimes to call him a friend i uh, the kids are calling them frenemies i think that very much uh describes my relationship with howard he uh he's a scoundrel he's a ladies man he's a rogue but he's also the man who will uh, call you on your birthday every year so, uh, you know, a little bit of, from column A, a little bit from column B. Anyway, I hope you're all well. Thank you. <laughs> so, Paul, I can tell by your dead silence that hearing this call has blown your proverbial mind. Uh, so, let me understand. Let me make sure I, I have this right. That was that was uh, Einstein Rosen who called in uh, for the first episode of Dark Hollywood. That is right. He had some groundbreaking info about the Stargates and deli sandwiches. And now yeah. he has some fantastic news about the Mothman. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm... He's alive, Paul. I'm buying that. We... Well, I'm I'm sorry. We have eyewitness proof of a lifelong relationship with a man who is the Mothman. Okay, so you're trying to tell me that this uh, Einstein Rosen knows the Mothman, and his first name is Howard. They they just they hang out together in 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 Yonkers, New York, or wherever he lives. This seems to be the case, and while it is fascinating and almost unbelievable. It must be believed. He also said, uh, did I hear that right? He, he said that he's also a ladies' man. So he's, he's just out at the bars in, in, in Westchester or something, picking up chicks, too. It would seem to be the case that Howard Muffman is a ladies' man, but also, he said, a scoundrel and a rogue. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, then. How about you call him back? 
and see if you can get him on a future episode of Dark Hollywood. I'm going to go ahead and skip that episode, but you go right ahead. Huh. You're going to skip it? You can get, uh, you can get uh, Alana back on to talk about it. <laughs> Another expert. And Paul, you will be obviously in the field undercover with Howard. I'm probably just going to go back to bed right now, if that's okay. <laughs> A disguise of lifestyle. I love to hear. Thank you, Paul. I will speak to you soon on the next episode of B-Movie Mania's Dark Hollywood. Were, were, were you recording this? Good night. Jesus Christ. <laughs>